Welcome to the Virtual Classroom Coach, a channel to discover and share everything there is to know about virtual classrooms and a little bit more. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get better sound for your learners with just a few simple hacks guaranteed to have a huge effect. Now before we start, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell and like buttons and that way we can keep in touch and you'll be the first to know when I drop in a new video. Okay, let's get hacking. So something to know about webinar and conferencing software is that the audio is already quite heavily compressed and it's for a good reason, it helps with connections at, at all ends. But of course the downside of that is that it means the audio and video are both already degraded before we've even begun. So let's look at how you can change these settings to get crisper, clearer audio for everyone. Now of course these hacks apply to anyone using Zoom, but if you're using another virtual classroom package, root around for the equivalent settings, they'll be there. Right, here we go. Number one. Under audio settings, select the test mic function, and that way you can test the effectiveness of your microphone. The input levels, it reacts to your voice. The red is bad, green is good, and then it plays back the audio to you so you can hear and judge for yourself. You'll also notice a slider allowing you the ability to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone as well. Number two. If you do have a plug and play headset or USB microphone, make sure Zoom is picking up that device. It should be in this drop down menu, so make sure it's there and make sure it's selected. Number three, untick automatically adjust microphone volume. Having this on further reduces audio quality, so definitely have that unticked. Number four, audio advanced. These three options can also degrade rather than enhance audio quality. So my advice is to disable suppress persistent background noise, disable suppress intermittent background noise, and leave echo cancellation to auto. And that way your participants and you will appreciate much better audio. Number five. So in another video, I said how important it is to, to close your doors and your windows. And that's on the presupposition that as you're delivering a virtual classroom, you require peace and quiet for both you and your learners. And therefore, you don't need such artificial cleansing features to attempt to mop up sound spills. It always takes some of the good stuff away as well. But you may also want to use your Zoom account in other ways. For example, in loud, busy environments where there's continual or occasional noise pollution, and that's where these features would come in handy. So you may want to leave them on. So if your usage and environment for Zoom changes and you don't want to keep going in and altering the settings, put a tick in show in meeting options to enable original sound from microphone. And that way you have a choice in the specific meeting or event in the main screen to override any enhancements that you've pre-selected. Perfect. That's it then, that's my top five audio hacks so you can broadcast clear and crisp audio to your virtual learners. Can you think of any more? Please share them in the comments below or in the community section further along, I'd love to hear them. So if you've liked this video, please do press the subscribe, like and bell buttons, that way we can keep in touch and you'll be the first to know when a new video lands. Also, why not browse my other videos right now? But until then, as always, thank you so much for watching.